Hi people, this is Chris for Drums Bonedo. Welcome back to another video. Today we check out four steel snares from the Mapix MPX series. These drums are aimed at beginners or people who have a little budget or just don't want to spend so much money on a middle or upper class snare. By the way, this is a two-part video. Another video with the seven MPX wood snares will follow up. First, let's take a look at the shells. They are 1.0 mm thick chrome plated steel shells in the sizes 14 by 6 and a half, 14 by 5 and a half, 14 by 3 and a half, a piccolo, and a little popcorn snare in 10 by 5.5. As mentioned, the snares are quite affordable. 159 for all 14 inch models and 139 euros for the 10 inch model. The snares have triple flanged 1.6 mm steel hoops and Remo UX heads, coated and clear. The 1.0 mm straight steel shell has a visible seam on the inside. I also noticed some slight discolorations, as you can see here. And if you look closer, you can see that not every seam is so cleanly finished as you can see on this drum. Otherwise, they have round shells and all screws are running evenly in the threads. If you look a little closer, you will notice that not all drums have identical hardware. All 14 inch models have 8 lugs per head, so 16 lugs in total, except for the 14 by 3.5 snare which has double end lugs and a different, simpler throw-off. The throw-off of the other three models is basically a simplified Black Panther version, but on the MPX models the snare wires are only adjustable on the strainer side. The strainer can be pulled off to the side, while on the 14-inch Piccolo model it snaps into place sideways. The snare wires have 20 spirals of steel in the case of the regular 14-inch models. The 10-inch and the Piccolo have 16 spirals each. The snare wires of the Piccolo model are not quite evenly finished and the wires rattle when the drum is played with the snares turned off, hitting the resonant head from below. That's pretty uncool. Now let's see in detail how the four snares sound in different tunings. Let's start with the two standard models in 14 by 6 and a half and 14 by 5 and a half. And now let's hear the individual sound files of the two effect snares.
So this is what I noticed. In general, all drums have a low fundamental note. I think this is because they don't have a center beat and the shell is quite thin. So you have to make quite a few turns to bring the drums to higher tension. This goes especially for the 14 inch models. On the 14 by six and a half, it is noticeable that it goes slightly out of tune while playing rim shots. This is probably due to the combination of the factory head and the rather light tension hoop and also the very smooth running tuning screws. Rim clicks also sound a bit weak on all 14 inch drums. To help to keep the drum in tune, I added four lug locks. The two models in 14 by five and a half and 14 by six and a half both score with a round and full sounding signal. With a more stable tension hoop and a branded drum head, it would certainly be possible to get more out of them and also improve the tuning stability. So anyone looking for an affordable main snare should have these two on the list. The 14 by six and a half model has a little more fundamental, which I liked. So let's hear how this drum sounds with a branded head and another tension hoop. Moving on to the two effect snares. The MPX Steel 10x5.5 is a fairly affordable and good sounding popcorn snare that impresses mainly with popping high pitched sounds. Compare that to the price of the 10x5.5 Black Panther Wasp, which now costs 349 euro and also has a 1.0 mm steel shell, you really can't go wrong with this one here. The 14 by 3.5 steel unfortunately has a few technical problems, such as the previously mentioned snare wires, which hit the resonant head when the throw off is released. And also it has less bite on rim shots, as I'm used to from playing other funky piccolo snares. But what is quite cool are wet sounding lofi sounds that go into the experimental field. If you're looking for a snare sound that does not sound like a high quality instrument, Sometimes a studio production exactly needs something like that. But overall I find it too expensive for what it offers and I quite don't understand why it costs as much as the two other 14 inch models. So that's it for today. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment and also I would like to know which one of those four drums is your favorite. So I hope to see you next time. Bye!